There's a guy in town I know through a friend who is supposed to have a very extensive Pokemon collection. So I left the event for a bit to go check it out, because I'm trying to catch them all. Hey, John. Welcome to Florida. How you doing? It's nice to see you. So, this is insane. Yeah, here's my vintage sealed collection that spans all the way from 1999 to 2006. Wow. I knew I was coming to look at this, so I asked Matt Quinn to come down to help me evaluate everything. That sounds great. Well, let's have a seat and talk about what you got here until he gets here. All right. I know that you only buy from trusted sources, and I know you from the Pokemon community, so I'm not worried about the authenticity of everything here. I just want to have a second set of eyes to help me evaluate this because I'm a little googly-eyed right now. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, there's a lot of good, good stuff here from original base set all the way to EX actually here. Also four Japanese boxes, which are really, really cool. You couldn't get these in America. And then I see a couple Charizards over here. Um, what do we got here? Oh, first edition Charizard. This is where it all started right here, the chase for the Charizard. And then this Charizard looks, let's see. Oh, the Disco Hollow Test Print. I mean, this card was basically a test print for this card, and you can see the difference where they decided to go with a different hollow pattern that they used. Yeah, I, I think there's only maybe eight in existence that I know about. It wasn't really meant to leave the factory, but somehow uh, it escaped and ended up in my collection. Well, I do want to show you the icing on the cake of my collection. Ooh, I love sweets. Uh-oh. Inside here, we have Koro Koro Comics, Pokemon Illustrator card. No way. Now this is actually the holy grail of Pokemon right here. It's like half a million dollar card. Yep. As far as I understand, the Illustrator was basically given out as a prize to kids who joined an illustrating competition to design a Pokemon card. So a lot of them just probably got misused. But now in today's market, a nine, I forgot you even have this whole sealed collection here in front of me, <laughs> wow. How much are you looking to get for this whole collection? For the entire collection, I'm looking for about $1.4 million. OK. Um, once Mac gets here, I'll have him talk to me about prices and everything. Absolutely. Hey, guys. How Pleasure. you doing, buddy? Good. Look at this collection. So, Alex, I've heard about your collection, but seeing in person is another thing. This is an impressive collection. I mean, it's mostly sealed. Obviously, you have some really stellar examples of single cards, but you know, these boxes were the ones that were in the comic shops, in those little sports card stores where the kids would go in there and just buy one pack out of the box, you know, the display box. So seeing these all sealed intact together like this is very stunning. I mean, these aren't supposed to exist. They were supposed to all be opened up and the product's supposed to be everywhere. Fortunately, people, you know, were wise beyond their years and socked them away, kept them sealed. So you have all these e-reader boxes up here. These are very valuable. Wow, you get a lot of history here. Obviously, you're familiar with this illustrator he brought in as well. I have seen this card before. It has, you know, roughly 40 or so known examples, and then high-grade examples are very difficult to find. When it comes to Pokemon, this is this is the card. This is the pinnacle, the top of the mountain, what every collector aspires to own. So, wow, it, it, amazing piece right there. Now, here's another card you don't see too often. It's the Disco Test Hollow Charizard. Or, yeah, seeing a prototype example of what would become first edition that's wild, yeah, this is, this is really impressive. All right, well, so what kind of value would we put on this whole collection? So this entire sealed collection I'm looking at here with the Illustrator and the two Charizards, I would say probably 1.2 million. Well, 1.2 million doesn't seem too far off of 1.4 million, but that is $200,000. <laughs> that is a lot of money, yeah. yeah. Rick might literally kill me <laughs> if I was to spend anywhere close to that today. I am interested in a few of these boxes alone, though. What value would you put on the base set unlimited? Uh, the unlimited base set box, I would put about $13,000. All right, well, thanks for coming down once again, Matt. Of course, Chum. It's my pleasure, Alex. Always good to see you. Chum, likewise, um, beautiful collection. All right, well, it looks like you got a lot of money worth of Pokemon here. As much as I want to make you an offer on this collection, one, I don't think you would accept my offer, and two, I don't think Rick would be very happy with me if you did accept my offer. But how about the unlimited base set box? Would you take 10,000 for it? How about 14,000? How about 11,000? You know what, because you're a fan, 
I'll do that, chum. All right, well, one Pokemon fan to another, we got a deal, $11,000. I'll get you that money wired over first thing in the morning. <laughs> Thank you.